Welcome back to day 18 of the 100 horror films in 31 days. I got in three films. First up is Devil's Due, 2014 found footage film from Matt Benelli. I think he also did VHS. Uh, this is basically Rosemary's Baby found footage style with a with a couple that gets involved with a in a they go to like a, a nightclub in Mexico and uh, their drinks get spiked and something bad happens to the wife and of course the rest of the movie is her uh, you know actually transforming and becoming like possessed with a baby you know it's 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 interesting I mean it's probably a decent one time watch I mean it's not um, it's not something that I would return back to very often but I, I I actually thought the from a found footage standpoint, I thought stylistically the found footage style worked in this case. It it didn't detract from the film. It actually was fine. So yeah, that's Devil's Due. I think I bought this like at Best Buy for like five bucks. I don't know. Decent decent watch. All right, next up is Norman J. Warren, uh, Bloody New Year. And of course. This is the Vinegar Syndrome release. Uh, there's also the box set from the UK that's got this film as well. This is a this is I'm not sure what to make of this other than to tell you it's a supernatural. It's like a late '80s supernatural slasher film. The story's kind of incoherent. I mean, I had a hard time following it. I mean, it's it, it basically you got a group of people that end up at this haunted house. And uh, you've got, you know, killings going on, slasher style, but it's much more of a supernatural tone. Um, I, I, I wasn't a big fan of it. I thought it, I thought it really kind of dragged in parts, but I probably need to give it another shot, another watch at some point. Uh, this release is a nice release from Vinegar Syndrome, though. I'm, I'm looking forward to checking it out on the box set from the UK as well. Uh, this has an audio commentary that I gotta check out. So, yeah, that's uh, Bloody New Year. And then last up, a real a classic, just a classic. Larry Cohen's God Told Me To with Tony Lubianco. I mean, it was it, it was a really good film, uh, and really kind of prescient for the time. I mean, this is late seventies. Uh, basically, you've got some killings going on and these people that are doing the killings the only thing they have to say the reason they're doing it is God told them to do the killings uh, and so Tony is a police officer trying to figure out why these killings are occurring and why people are saying God told them to do it uh, great great film uh, great ending I think I think it really uh, the payoff in the film is fantastic Larry Cohen was just a, was a fantastic director uh, great stories I mean you really get the feel of late 70s New York City with with his films with like Q and this film is just good stuff I mean this blue underground release is, is awesome I've had it for a number of years Highly recommend God Told Me To and highly recommend this release. So that's an 8 out of 10. All right. Well, if you've seen those films and have some thoughts, feel free to leave them below in the comments section. Thanks for watching.